What's up guys, I'm Taylor of Go Power Sports. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add rear suspension to your Magamoto 212 as well as the Coleman RT 200. This is going to be our swing arm kit install. Let's get at it. So in this kit, you obviously get the swing arm. You get the brackets, which are the swing arm mount that go right here. And then you get the brackets for your upper shock mounts that go on top. You get your axle, shocks, and all necessary hardware. Yeah, these are the nitrogen filled shocks that come with this kit. We sell these for a lot of different bikes. Really good shocks, it's gonna make your ride really cushy. Swing arm, super heavy duty, well made. It's made here in Texas, as well as all of the brackets. The brackets are all laser cut, super clean, really easy to put on. All bolt on. All bolt on. A little cutting required but it makes it look really, really good. So all the tools that you need for this kit, it's pretty easy. Pretty much anybody will have these in their garage. Hammer of some sort is always handy if you need to knock one of these brackets a little bit to get perfect alignment. Three quarter inch wrench with a three quarter inch socket. 14 or 9 16 wrench and socket. The 3 16 Allen, like I said before, this needs to be a really nice fitting Allen, not one that's worn out. I like to use these just to make the job a little bit quicker. Makes it easier to get into some spots. But I do all my final tightening with this one. Eight millimeter Allen that will go for the brake. And obviously you always need a ratchet. 10 mil socket, 14 mil socket. Before you start assembling anything, obviously tear the bike down. You will retain the stock axle and all of its spacers and the stock brake bracket. That stuff all transfers over from the stock frame over to this swing arm. So get all that stuff off, get the fender off. You're going to make two cuts here and here. So on this frame, we have our battery box mocked up on here. If you're running an electric start engine with our swing arm kit, instead of cutting this whole tube off of here, mock this box up and cut it right behind that lock collar. So if you look over here, you see we cut that whole rear subframe off. But if you're running that battery box kit, leave you basically a little nub right here. The stock wheelbase on these bikes is roughly 45 inches. This swing arm extends it three and a half inches. The wheelbase, if you have your axle about in the middle of the slot, is 48 and a half inches. Gives you a much more stable ride. First thing you're gonna do after you get this rear end cut off is you're gonna hang these swing arm mount brackets. This is your pivot point for the swing arm. It's gonna put your pivot point pretty much in a straight line from your jack shaft to the axle, which is optimal. You don't have hardly any chain play as you go up and down on your suspension. So these go just like so and none of these bikes are the exact same. So if it's not like an absolute perfect fit, you'll see that on this other side. You just start all the bolts and tighten them evenly until it draws the whole bracket into this corner. You need a 3 16 Allen. I'm not tightening any of these. Just running them all up pretty well flush. So we're gonna get all of them started. Tighten this one to draw the bracket all the way up into that corner. And then we'll cinch it down that way. Okay. So who who would want this this somebody who's doing something like the GPS one eight? So this has been tested. Oh okay. yes. Oh yeah. So yeah, we've done a lot of testing. I'm glad you said that. Lots of testing at the ranch. We took a couple of these up to Colorado. We've tested these puppies everywhere. The lime. The lime. 
lot of, got a lot of feedback there. Yeah, we had a lot of different people ride it, and it was all, <laughs> I, I don't think there was anything negative. It was all really positive feedback. This is the one that so if you don't want to race in a hardtail class or if you're just looking for a little more comfortable ride, this is the kit. And report this is the one that you with, Yep. Okay. Now, same thing on the other side. Make sure you have a really good fitting 3 16th Allen. Notice I was only running them up kind of flush with this one because these will strip these out kind of easy. So make sure you do your final tightening with a really good Allen wrench. Next up, we are going to actually hang the swing arm in here. On your swing arm pivot bolt that comes in the kit, comes with a bunch of washers on there. You're gonna run one washer on the outside. And then you kinda wanna hang this up there. Like I said, all these frames are different. Get some measurements as far as centering it up on your frame. Like I said, these are all a little bit different. On this one, we're gonna do two washers on this side and then one washer on this side. Put our two washers in there. Now the last washer. So to tighten the swing arm pivot bolt, you need either 19 or three quarter. Very nice. Once we get it all mounted, we're gonna loosen that just a little bit more so it has more play. So now we're going to install the top shock mounts. These are bolt-on, obviously, just like all the other brackets. These are really adjustable. You have a lot of room to play with. Not only do you have adjustment on your shock tension down here, you can also do all sorts of crazy stuff up here to get the desired suspension that you want. Right there. Okay, we have our top shock mounts tight. The swing arm pivot point brackets are tight. Swing arm is in. Now we're gonna hang the rear tire. And this is loose. So, sprocket is on the right side on the Megamoto 212. Sprocket's going to be on the left side for the RT200. So, obviously that means your brake is on the opposite side. If you zoom in here, you can see we have these blocks welded on both sides which is going to use the stock brake bracket so whether you have the rt200 or the megamoto 212 stock brake bracket stock axle all these little pieces work let's get let's run it from this side bracket goes like so forward so now we can finally bolt these beautiful nitrogen shocks on yep 
leave these loose until you get this other shock on over here. You can get as fancy or as crude looking as you want with your red. cuts. None of these parts come painted. You don't have to use red. Beautiful. Okay, and slap the chain on. Now this chain, I was telling you guys about the wheelbase difference with the swing arm. You have to use a longer chain than the stock one. It will not work. Now we're going to use a 10 mil socket to kind of draw this chain back. Boy, that looks perfect. Let's draw this back a tiny bit more. It's like perfectly lined up right there. So now after you get those adjusted and tight, I'm going to retighten the axle. Again, that's a 17 and a 14. After you do that, always recheck your chain alignment because that can move it some. That looks, that looks really good. Very nice. I'm going to slap this brake on there. Now again, this is a lot of factory stuff you're going to be switching over, so you keep your same rear like brake. Now that we have everything bolted on here, go back and recheck all of your hardware. You never know if you missed a little Allen bolt somewhere. So put a wrench on all these, put a wrench back on your pivot point, on your axle, on your shocks. Literally recheck all of it, because you never know. So this is the Coleman RT200. As you see, we have the same exact kit mounted on this bike. You make the same cuts. There's a little chain guard bracket that comes off of here that you do have to cut off. It will not work. Best thing to do on these, put the uh, torque converter in the one inch risers and the sucker's ready to rip. So like I showed you back there on the Megamoto, this one's the exact opposite. You use that block on this side, brake goes on this side, sprocket on that side. It's a very universal kit. All right, that sums up this build. This is our new all bolt-on swing arm kit for the Megamoto 212 and the Coleman RT200. Really sweet kit, all bolt-on, couple cuts, anybody can do it. All I got left, I'm gonna slap this fender bracket on and then we're gonna ride this sucker.